How's it going, guys? Welcome to episode 6 of Super Mario Star Road. And uh, what I'm going to do right now is check the view totals of the stars that I've gotten. And, uh, well, we only got two stars for Gloomy Garden right now, but everything else is 100%ed. And I was uh, recommended by most people to continue with Gloomy Garden. So, that's what we're going to be doing right now. Actually, I think I will start off with using this, because there's, there's a bonus star that we can get. But this may take me a few tries. Hopefully, I'm not given a... Oh man, I really don't like the sound of that. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but the, the audio is kind of messing up for me. Wow, that was really close. I was sure we weren't going to do that. Hey, put me down. I didn't say you could enter my house. How did you get in here anyway? Look, just take the star and don't come back. Oh, man. I I don't know what is going on or why, or why the audio is making that. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's kind of making that clank, 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 clank noise. I mean, it used to only do that in the Vanish Cap stage, but now it's doing it in other locations. I hope that it, it's something that just passes over time, but I don't know. Although, if you don't even know what I'm talking about, it might just be an only me thing. Okay, let's see. The Secret Tunnel. Secret tunnel. I'm not sure what that is referring to. I think that I may just pick a star and just go for it. There is a star that is down this way. Right over by the grave. Wow, I was sure that that book was going to get me. Okay, well... All right, so we're back in this area right here for... Come on, camera, don't do this. I'm trying to move the camera behind Mario, but it, it, it's not working. Okay, so this star right here is one where we need to jump onto these platforms. Like, if we happen to fall off in this area, we'll, we'll just instantly die. Okay, doing well so far. Yeah, this is probably one of the more frustrating uh, stars, because because it is vi no, yeah, you see, very easy to die. Whoa, I did not know that I could do that. I just really hate the camera in this spot. Okay, are we gonna get the star? There we go! <laughs> and I'm floating away from it! Wow, I did not think that it would take me just two tries to get it, but... Whatever. Oh, I guess that was the star that I was going after. Oh, now we're going for the Lonely Tree. This is an even more difficult star. Alright, so this next star here is one where we need to jump off of these platforms and it is very easy to die here. I'm guessing that this is going to be the episode where I get a game over for the first time. I, I had the feeling that if I was to get a game over at any point during this Let's Play, or, or get the first game over, it would probably either be in this level or in Bowser Slippery Swamp, which is the Bowser level, which we will get to maybe in the next episode. Oh, come on, I missed again? Come on. Maybe I need to long jump to get over there. Oh, that was it. Okay, I'm doing well so far. Oh, and I fell. Okay, and we've gotten the game over for the first time in this Let's Play. Yeah, this is what happens when you get a game over in Super Mario Star Road. 
Instead of the original game over screen, like what we got in the original Mario 64, we're teleported to this area right here, which is a black and white uh, world. There aren't any stars to get here. You'll notice that the star count says zero, but don't worry, it doesn't take away our stars. That's just... It's just what happens. Okay, so we just jump down this hole, and we start back at the file selection screen. I'll meet you guys back at the gloomy garden. Okay. No! Maybe I need to do the long jump for this star as, or that platform. I don't know why I said star. Sometimes I end up saying the wrong word. I don't know why, it just happens. Okay, we're doing pretty well. Okay, and we got this star. It actually didn't take as long as I thought it would, especially since I'm not using the save states. And we only had gotten one game over from doing that one. Alright, and now we're doing probably one of the more difficult stars. The 8 red coins. I'm not sure if I want to do the 100 coins while doing this. I mean, if I was using save states, I probably would, but... But, you know, this star... The, the coins are probably very difficult. No, oh, come on. Thank you. Okay. No! Oh, I fell off! I might not be able to get all those coins. At least I didn't die. Oh, great. I sure hope I can get the 100 coins without needing to get... All of those coins. Ah, that is just quite aggravating. That's like, I think the second time in this Let's Play in which I try to get the 100 coins and I end up messing up with the blue coin switch. I think it also doesn't help that as I am recording this, I actually have a bandage on my thumb that I use to control the, uh, well, to move the control stick around, so it might be a bit slippery for me to even use. So that's probably a bit of a problem, like... Oh, can I get this coin without... Oh, well, I couldn't get it without getting off of the platform, but I could get it without losing it. I think that I may just decide to get, uh... the red coins for this mission and not worry about the blue coins until later. Once, oh wait, blue coins. No, what I meant to say was the red coins. Oh, are you going to let me have that? No. Oh, I did get it, but can I get that platform back? Something tells me I won't be able to cuz I Oh, there it is, but it disappeared. I think that I'm just going to go ahead and continue with the 100 coins. Hopefully I can get them without dying. But I don't know. It's kind of hard to say. While I'm doing this, I may as well bring up the comment question of the day from the last episode. Although I only got one response for this comment question of the day. But at least the last episode was not completely without very many comments. And I do appreciate anyone who actually is commenting on these videos. And hopefully... Uh, that no comic curse that Grunty casted uh, will be broken pretty soon, and that my Let's Play videos will become more commentable, or become more common to receive comments than a lot of the other Let's Play videos that I have seen. Okay, so I got 50 so far. And I do see a... I, I do see the shadow of one coin up there, but I'm not going to bother with that until later. Alright, so anyway, the one comment that I get did get, uh, well, this was not on, on YouTube, it was a demon art uh, comment, but still, an answer to the comment question of the day, nonetheless. And I asked people, uh... What do you think is the closest equivalent to the Krusty Krab that, in real life, is there? And the one response that I got was, 
that tough age j sorry about that. The one response that I had gotten is from Tough Agent Shepard. I have to say it pretty slowly because I kind of... Uh, no! Oh! Oh, phew. I was sure that I was going to fall. Thank you for not. Anyway, Tough Agent Shepard says that he thinks the closest equivalent to the Krusty Krab in real life would be Burger King. And I can kind of see that. It does make a bit of sense. Although, for me personally, I think, uh... Well, I think one interesting answer... Well, my answer would be maybe, uh, Culver's. I don't know if you live anywhere where there is a Culver's, but there is one where I live. And I kind of like the chicken sandwiches that they have. I'm not sure if they are pretty, uh... Pretty much like what we would have for, or if they are even close to, uh, what, what we have, or if they are the closest equivalent to, uh, Krabby Patties in real life. Now, speaking of which, uh, does, has anyone ever wondered about what, uh, Krabby Patties are even made from. I mean, yeah, there is the secret formula, uh, but, you know, I think that my family has said that they are made from crabs, which I find that to be illogical, to be honest, because, well, for starters, a crab runs the restaurant, so it just seems a bit odd that he would be selling sandwiches made from his own kind. And I am aware that there was actually an official recipe of the uh, Krabby Patty that was posted online. I may need to look into that, though. Although, for some reason, I think that it did say with crab meat, which, again, just seems odd, because why would Mr. Krabs ma make stuff made from crab meat? That just doesn't seem to make that much sense. Although, an interesting fact is that I remember watching the episode, uh, I can't remember its name, but it was the episode where, uh, Spongebob was supposed to get the, uh, secret ingredient for the secret formula, and somebody had taken it, and there was a point in that episode where they, in, where he and Patrick investigate at the Chum Bucket, and Plankton had made a Krabby Patty, but it wasn't made the same way as the official Krabby Patties had. Wow, we are at 89 stars. Oh man, wouldn't it be good if I could get 11 more coins without dying? But I bet that that's not gonna happen. I bet I'm gonna die before I can get even one more coin. No, uh, ah, yeah, you see? There we go. I do not believe that. I forgot to say this during the initial recording right before that death, but I was going to say that Plankton had mentioned that he was going through all of the possibilities on what the secret ingredient could be, and he said that he was on the R's. So that means that whatever the secret ingredient is, it is something that begins with a letter between R and Z. So that is quite interesting. Alright, I'm gonna try this again with getting all these blue coins. Hopefully I can do it this time. Last time I only was able to get one. Okay, well, I got most of them at least, so... Was there something up here? Oh wait, I think this is actually where the red coin star appears once... Once we... Yep, that's where the red coin star appears once we get that. Okay, but I'm gonna go ahead and get as many of the coins as I can, and for some reason the music is getting louder. I don't know why, because I haven't turned the volume up, it's, it's just the game. Here's a Goomba that I didn't get last time. So I got 94 coins so far. Can I really survive long enough to get the last ones? Well, I think that I can. I just need to make my way to the grave area, because I didn't collect any of those coins right there, and I'm pretty sure that there's plenty to reach the 100 coin star. So hopefully I can get that. I'll meet you guys over there. Alright, Goombas. Time to turn you into pancakes. 
And there we go, the 100 coin star. Here we go! All right, that's pretty good that I was able to get the 100 coin star uh, for this level. Probably one of the hardest. Now I'm going to see if I can try to get the red coins, at least the rest of them. How many do I have? I only have five. Okay, and I made it up here. Last time I tried getting up here, I ended up falling. Hopefully I can figure out a way to get back to the start of the level. I'll meet you guys over there. Can I make it all the way back to the start? Yes! Yes, I can! And I did. No, oh, I fell! At least I got the 100 coin star. Yeah, I really hate, you know, the, the side wall. Because it's so easy to fall off like that. We're starting with the red coins all over again. Alright, please do not fall. No! Do you need to go see an ear doctor? Because I did not say do fall, I said don't fall. Don't with an N apostrophe T. Not do without an N in the N in the the da 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 da. I'll meet you guys back there. All right, I made it up here this time. Okay, so now to get on this elevator or whatever this really should be called. I don't know if. Calling it an elevator, is that accurate? Like, I do apologize if I am not always that accurate. While we are doing this, I may as well talk about something else. I have also been doing a Let's Play of Banjo-Kazooie The Jiggies of Time, just in case you didn't know about that already. <laughs> and I I've already recorded like 13 episodes of that series, but I've only uploaded two episodes so far as of the recording of this episode of Star Road. But, but what is interesting is that the most recent episode of uh, Jiggies of Time that I had posted uh, from the time that I'm recording this <laughs> is... Oh, oh dear. No, come on! I bet I'm not gonna... Yep, I... Oh! Okay, I'll meet you guys back at the start. I better not fall off of that freaking wall this time. Oh my! Oh, I, I was sure that he was gonna get me. At least I know that book won't get me. Okay, so here we were back before I ended up losing this. I tried to get that red coin, which I did get it, but not in enough time to get the lift back, because if you get off of this lift while it is moving, and you stay off it for too long, it disappears and you have to reset. Well, not reset the game, but reset... Are you kidding me? You were supposed... I thought that it was going to raise up higher! Don't you dare knock me off, Boo! I thought that... You, come on, I thought that it was gonna raise up higher! And then no... Oh, phew! I was sure I was gonna fall and have to start all over again. I'll meet you guys back at that spot. We're back to where we were. Anyway, I was discussing about uh, my most recent uh, upload of... Oh, phew, I thought I was gonna fall. Of Jiggies of Time and how for that, for the thumbnail, I used an image of Banjo delivering pizza to conquer. It was an image that I did in Gary's Mod, and there were some people that were like, you know, like clickbaited into clicking on that. I bet they thought that Conquer was actually in the game. But no, he was actually a, uh, a, a, a he was a substitute for Nabnut, since Nabnut appears in the uh, Kakiri Forest level, where you need to go to the inside of the Deku Tree's ear in order to find Nabnut. And since Nabnut is not available in Gary's mod, at least as of January 2022, when this uh, video is recorded, I use Conquer as a substitute. And I do plan on making some other interesting uh, thumbnails for uh, 
for Jiggies of Time for the future uh, uh, Jiggies of Time uploads. Like, as soon as I finish recording this episode, I'm thinking of... Well, I'm actually thinking of working on another video, which may already be out by the time you're watching this. I won't say what the video is, though, but it's just another one of my usual videos. Well, maybe not that usual, since it is actually just kind of going to be more of an announcement video rather than anything. Okay, so there we go. Calm the angry eye. That is Gloomy Garden. 100%ed. We have gotten 41 stars, and we've gotten all of the stars from Bob Elm Islands, Skyland Resort, Piranha Plant Pond, Chukka Harbor, and Gloomy Garden. And we've gotten six secret stars, those including the stars for the Vanish Cap and the Metal Cap, and the two stars in Mushroom Mountain Town, and the Toad Star, and the Bunny Star. So that is pretty much uh, everything up until Bowser's Slippery Swamp, which is the first Bowser level of the game. So this time, I'm not going to ask you guys what we should be doing for the next episode of Super Mario Star Road, because there's only one thing for us to do in the next episode, which is to go into Bowser's Slippery Swamp. And I bet that I'm going to have a lot of fails there, because Bowser's Slippery Swamp has quite a lot of uh, pits where you could insta-die. So, it'll probably take me a while to get uh, that episode all filmed out. Probably, it may even take me the whole episode to get all the way from the start to the boss. Uh, so, anyway, thank you so much for watching. And for the moment, I don't think that I will actually ask another comment question of the day. But maybe somewhere down the line, you, you could suggest some ideas for a comment question of the day that we could ask. But I'm just going to take a break from asking any at the moment. Because who knows uh, how many people will actually leave a response. Since the last question, I only got one response. So... That's it. I'll see you guys in the next episode where I go try to beat the first boss level.